Papa Bandit stays home and guards the RV today while Papa goes along with the Grand Kite kids to explore the local wildlife museum. Come along and learn some things and have some fun. Well, good morning, friends. This is the second day at Ocean Shores at the uh, Quinault uh, Casino Resort. And uh, today we're going to go and visit the Interpretive Center and see a little bit of uh, the unique and interesting things uh, of this area and of the uh, Ocean Beach. So right now we are uh, going for a little walk and let bandit water a few bushes and uh, do a job and uh, come on bandit and then we are gonna be on our way so for now papa dale check it out <laughs> okay friends hi we are at the coastal interpretive center uh, so now i'm here with some of my family and we are going to go inside and this is like these children are homeschooled so this is like a field trip for homeschooling right you, yeah you get credit for being in school today now so that means you get to take tomorrow off right Woo! oh look at all of this stuff in here my goodness gracious Oh, nice. Okay, so you can touch the, the animal skins in here and see what a beaver feels like. This is a beaver. This is what it feels like. Ooh, that kind of feels like your hair. Can I touch this? Yep. Anything in this little room right here? It is so soft. It is? What is it? Wow, that is so soft. Wow, feel that, Michelle. That feels like a meat. Oh, that's a black-tailed deer. See up here? That's a raccoon tail. Oh, feel it. It is a mountain goat tail. Oh, is it? Oh, how did you know? Did you read it? Addie told you. It's supposed to open the drawers supposed to open all the drawers. Isaac, we're supposed to open and look in all the drawers over here. What do you think? Is that pretty cool? Ooh. Ooh, it's a snake. It's going to bite you. Ah! Ooh, you know what these are right here? Addy. That's the spine, that's the bone of the spine. Those are vertebrae from a whale. So stand up. So you feel, you feel your bones right there? That's, that's how big the whale backbone is. Isn't that huge? What are these? Oh, these are whale teeth. Look at a whale heart. Whoa. Awesome. Whale fart? Where? No, it's not a whale. It's a whale fart, Isaac. Okay. I got no laugh for that. Oh, look at this red tailed hawk. Ah, it's coming after us. Ah. Oh, look at the bus. And then the whale. Whoa. So you could ride the school whale. <laughs> well, it's yellow. Yep. Man, I'm not a very big hit with my humor today. <laughs> what do we have here? We have a sea otter. Oh my goodness, he's giant. Ho oh, ho! You know what? I think this animal is a little bit crabby. It's a crab. Oh well, that's why it's crabby. <laughs> yes. And by 
barnacles and some. Where's the barnacles? In the shell. Was oh yeah. That had some eyes in them. Oh. Some pictures. Oh wow. Oh look, look that that animal looks a lot like Adeline right there, inside this cage. That's Addy. Oh, that really is Addy. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, yeah, don't break it. Be careful. Oh, look at the size of that giant clamshell that it's in. That is. Oh, look at this. What if you caught one of those fish at Papa's Lake? Would that be good? No. What? You wouldn't want to catch a big fish like that at Papa's place? I don't think so because it might pull you in. Well, your dad would be there to help you, or I would be. Japanese glass floats. They are up to 150 years old, I think the man said. The rock cycle. Oh, isn't that pretty? Wow. Ooh, look at this big quartz crystal rock here. A lot of birds, a lot of different kinds of birds. What? That big cat? Yeah, that's a bobcat. That is an elk. Yeah. Are those mean at people? They can be if you get too close, yeah. If you stay away, they'll leave you alone pretty much. Well, most of most of the time a bear will go the other way unless you startle it you know if you walk up and it doesn't know you're there and suddenly it turns around uh, you know the first thing it might do is might want to fight you and then it might run away but mostly they'll they'll run away and stay away from people unless it's a mama bear that has babies with her and the wolf is howling that's right. not a wolf that's a coyote. That's and, way worse than wolf. And, and behind the coyote is a cougar. Cougars are yeah, mean too. Cougars are cool. Yeah, and mean. Except in the sports team. We don't like the cougars. No, well, like the your family does. Sports. You know what these are? What? What's this right here? What's this right here? A rib. A rib. And that's a whale rib. Whoa. That's how big whales are. That, that's a snow owl. It is a snow owl. Good job. Well done. And that was right there. This is a red-tailed hawk. When we're driving around on the roads, there around in Washington, very often you will see a bird just kind of floating up high in the sky. And that's a red-tailed hawk, just like that. And there's a mousy. What? There's a mousy. There's a mousy. That's what that red tailed hawk wants to eat. <laughs> Ooh, look at these beautiful floats. Go ahead. These floats are wonderful. Look, is it, what's that called? I That's forget. An orca? Orca. I thought that was. What's that? And they, they call orcas killer whales. Oh, right. Yeah, but but they're orcas. What are those? Uh, what kind of whale? That's a gray whale. Oh, the, are those the, always the ones that try to kill you or something? No, whales don't try to kill people usually. They, they just on accident do? Well, they're so big. It's like standing next to a, a bus that's alive and moving around. And, you know, if they just go boom like that, that could just kill you because they're so big. But it would be an accident. They don't really, they aren't interested in people that much. Man, there is a lot of stuff here. You're going you're gonna to steer the ship? Okay, we'll see you steer the ship. Let's go to all of their lakes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Turn very sharp. Bear.
What's that? Oh, a cannonball. Yeah, right here. Oh. Yeah. Do they light them? Those on fire? No, that's just steel. They would shoot them out of cannons. One ship would shoot it at another ship and try to knock a hole in it. But that, see where the the captain steers the ship, but the engine room is a long way away from where the captain steers the ship. And this is how he communicates with the engine room what he wants the engine room to do to make the ship go. Right. Oh, look, here's a razor clam. A gooey duck. Whoa. And see, when you're out on the beach, you dig them with a the clam shovel. We'll do a, uh, do a real quick tour around the outside there are lots of exhibits outside too but this is the this is the beginning and as you walk in here's a big uh, uh, harpoon gun they that was what they shot harpoons at whales Whoa! And over here we have a giant seahorse. They don't get that big though. They only get like half the size of your little finger or something. Native plant demonstration garden. Got a uh, Native American religious artifact in the totem pole. Very satanic. So my gimbal battery died, so I'm uh, having to hold the camera as steadily as I can. Look at that! Yeah, you know what that is? That's coal. That's raw coal, unprocessed. That's what they burn to keep the ships going. And this is part of a shipwreck. And that piece of metal is part of a ship that crashed right out here in the ocean. Oh, and there it is, right there. See the picture up there? Mm -hmm. And this, this is the bollard the, for the Katala. That's where they would wind the rope when it would dock to hold it next to the pier. This is the anchor. And this is a buoy. A buoy. This is uh, something that sits out in the water and floats. Even though it's made of steel, it's got so much air inside of it because it's hollow. And, and you know what? You know, you are a little buoy and he is a big buoy. <laughs> it just sounds like boy. But you don't pronounce it boy, it's buoy. This is the Matthew McGee Nature Trail. Pretty cool. I totally missed this when I was here last time. But there is other kinds of stuff here. There's salal. A lot of this brush is salal. And this is like, you know, when you walk down to the beach and you've got all of the brush and all of the big tall long grass and stuff. Dad has to duck through here. He's going to bang his head on some things. Dad? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that was the nature walk. Pretty exciting. And sometimes you find a whole group of them out in the ocean, and there are a whole bunch of buoys and girls. <laughs> I got a little bit of a guffaw. <laughs> you know, say goodbye, YouTube. Bye. Well, that's it, friends. That is the uh, Coastal Interpretive Center at Ocean Shores. So. We are out of here. So the only question I have left is, what's next? 
Hey friends, if you've watched more than one Papa and the Bandit video, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button now. You must like us, you keep watching. <laughs>